No Jumper, coolest podcast in the world. And we are in here today with somebody who I'm going to give you the nod as like my first round draft pick in terms sure. of what's going on in LA and everything right now. I feel like I'm probably realistically listening to you more in the whip yeah. than a lot of established artists or really anybody doing their thing in LA right now. I'm really feeling the energy. My man X4 yeah. is in the building. Trophy. Trophy up in a big way. How you feeling? Good. Trophy up. Trophying up. What's trophying for those who don't know? Uh, trophy is like uh, somebody that's like a joint. Uh, you're really doing it. You got motion. You got mm -hmm. the trophy. You join it up. You trophied up. Right. And you, yeah. you said that to me last time I seen you where we were taking a picture or something. Yeah. And you're like, all right, I guess yeah. this is trophy yeah, that, status. Yeah. yeah, when I first met Desto Dub, man, he told me, welcome to the other side. Right. Yeah, this the other side. Trophy. That's crazy. I've been on the other side too long. It's easy for me yeah. to forget that, like, for you – doing interviews and having all this attention on you and stuff, it must feel kind of crazy because you, you've been out here on some other shit for a while, right? Yeah, hell yeah, I feel crazy as f I'm like a, I've been in and out of jail. I'm like a street because it's like camera sh new. So I'm mm -hmm. be like a shy type, but I'm starting to get used to it though. Right. So mm -hmm. you, you feel like you're developing into uh, the, the kind of person that you need to be to be a celebrity because it does kind of take a different skill set than just being a normal person, right? No, yeah, for sure do. But I feel like I already kind of got like some of them kind of like traits anyway. Though I'm already like a, I don't like just being anywhere. I don't like just being around anybody. I don't post anything. I already like move like move like that. Like I'm already uh, so it's just like easy. Right. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about where you're coming from. Oh my, like my upbringing, like my like yeah. My, well, I grew up in the '40s. Cause I grew up uh, 42nd and Melo, on the hood with my granny. Now it's my granny, my little brother. I'm hood, just grew up in the hood. And so your dad wasn't around at all, or. Nah, he was in he was in prison, cuz he was in prison. He went to prison for shooting my mom, cuz. Whoa. I was like two years old. He yeah, I'm did he shoot her and was she like badly wounded or was it? Hell yeah, he shot her five times. What the? F on the dead homies. I was like two years old, cuz. So cuz I've been in prison, cuz. I'm in the hood ever since then. But I met cuz though. I met cuz. 2017, he ended up getting out. Tapped in with me. I met cuz on the hood. But like growing up, he wasn't around. But so my little brother dad was around on my stepdad. The situation where he shot her though, like, w w do you know now, like, what it was about or what happened? Well, because my mom didn't want to be with Cub. Right. On uh, hood and Cub, Cub Fry. I see where I get it from now, Cub Fry. Well, so you're kind of a hothead, too? Yeah, yeah. I'll be tripping some time, Cub. Well, damn. I'll be tripping some time. I mean, but you don't want to be going out like that. Yeah. Shooting a chick. And chip. I always, like, on the day, when I was, like, younger, Cub, always, like, on the day, homies had so much, like, hate and anger for Cub. Like, this is about my mom. I'm going to kill Cub on the day, homies. Right. But, like, got older and matured and just, like, on some, like, he hit me up out of nowhere, like, a random call. Like, man, it's your dad. I'm trying to meet you with you. I'm like, all right, let me just like hear it cuts out. Because you kind of kind of wonder like what that's gonna do to your mind because yeah. you know your your whole like male role model shit is is based on your father more often than not. And a lot of times you see young dudes who you know they don't grow up with their dad around and they kind of end up a, lo a lot of dudes who get heavy into the streets. I think it, it's yeah. because of that because their dad's not around or whatever. Do you do you feel like you have any particular like you know damage that's been done to your brain by just having to know that that happened your whole your whole life? Hell yeah. Damage from that, damage from, like, my mom was, like, really in the street, too, really, like, with my granny. Right. So, on the day, I'm, like, mama issues, daddy issues, just growing, hell yeah. Growing up, just in the environment we grew up in, hell yeah, that's going to put damage on you for sure. In and out of jail. Right. Been, been a young, been put in that type of environment, hell yeah, that's called damage on you. But so, what was it like meeting face-to-face -face with your dad? Because do you have that, like, resentment or anger in your mind while you're talking to him because he did that to your OG? Yeah, at first, but, like, you know, his approach and the way he, like, says certain Word is her sh like it was like you know I had understanding it was cool. Hmm. We left the conversation with like you know some type of understanding. Did it seem he like know what, he know what was up with me though? He seemed like a changed person. Yeah, for sure. That's what prison go do to you though. Especially how many years he did. He went to jail like 2002, 2003. Got out like 2017. Right. Hell yeah. That's the hell yeah. Was there part of you in your mind that was like I'm gonna f this dude up if he says the wrong thing to me? Oh yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Nigga with a broke cut jaw <laughs> 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 off the dribble. What the? Now nah, his approach and everything was like he was cool though. His approach. Yeah. yeah, I feel like he was, like, really genuinely sorry about it. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, because I'm, I'm going to go out on a limb and say he was probably f***ed up and when that happened. Right? be happening because certain got different type of angers because I know when I'm mad because I do anything because any time around anybody and they regret it later because right. on a dead homie. So I know I am. So if that's the person that had me, I can only imagine on a dead homie. I didn't did certain shit in moments where I regretted it later. Like, and that's such a huge part like, of, yeah. of becoming successful is that you have to be able to be in a situation that makes you angry as f***. Or like you know, furious with your girlfriend or whatever, and not take it to the next level yeah. or whatever. That's the kind of. Cause on the dead homies, me and my my me and my baby mama be woof. 
go you, at it. You get into it. Hell yeah. I didn't got a cracking on my baby mama. Mm-hmm. They homies. I didn't got cracking on her. What's yeah. that mean? Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> you guys get into very intense arguments. Yeah. But yeah. you always are able to kind of pull it back and not take yeah. it to the next level. No, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I respect that. Yeah. Um, okay, so you're growing up there, and wh- wh- how would you describe your your childhood? Like, so your mom was like really not there that much, or like how much? Response, yeah, time not really, not really there that much, man. She was like really like in the street, cause on the day at home, she's really in the street and out the street. And the hood. I knew where she was, like, you know, but she was like really too much. She was in the street. Right. And the hood, so I was like with my granny. Yeah. And yeah. so what what was that like though? Your grandma, did she keep a pretty strict leash on you or was she kind of? Yeah, my granny was like evil. Cause my granny was evil, but then she had like a side where she was like, you know, she was like granny too, that, that loving granny. But she had a like, she, my granny was like f***ed up too. I used to get f***ed up a lot too. What's the evil part? Like, uh, She just like evil cause I used to get up a lot. She'd beat the out of you? You know, not beat the out of me. You know what's it? That was tough love though. Like looking at it back now, looking at it, looking at it uh, now that it's older, I, I needed that though. Right. I used to get f***ed up by my brothers, my granny, aunties, everybody. But I needed that type of though, looking back at it. Because the ones that didn't get f***ed up are the ones that they babied and tried to show favoritism to. Jay catted out weird, weirdos now. Really? So I'm good. I'm gang, so hell yeah. So I needed that type of It made me to the person I am today. parenting works for you. Yeah, hell yeah. Interesting. Were you getting in trouble with load since you were young? Hell yeah, man. Because I was doing a lot of shit, though. I used to be doing stupid shit. Go outside, fuck up, go to school, fuck up. I was just like a fuck up. Right. I was like, I was a fuck up, so hell yeah. Right. And, uh, okay, so but what kind of kid were you? Like, what were you getting into? A badass kid, because I was doing anything. I'd go to school and get in trouble. I'm f***ing around the block. I'm making hood out. I'm stripping shit. I'm robbing shit. I'm busting a neighbor's window. I'm doing all type of shit, uh, Bad little kid. What do you think you were influenced by? You think it was the music or was your... your... My environment, cuz, and then just my brothers. On the hood, my big, I got two big brothers from the hood. Baby Explosive, X3, and then Tiny Foots on gang, so... How much older are they than you? Uh, Baby Explosive, 28. Tiny Foots, uh, 33. And how old are you? 23. Okay. And so do you, were they like guiding you into the streets or were they kind of trying to keep you innocent? Hell no, they were trying to keep me away from that shit, but that just made me want to do it more on gang. They tried to keep me away from that shit. every time I used to be on the block. Homie used to be, I'll call your brother, get the fuck out of here. Certain little shit, we find, and my brother found I'm on the block. Um, I was on the block, he'd come home, me up. That shit is still, but I still, that shit don't do nothing, I still got put on. Right. And okay. so, okay, they. Yeah, they tried though, they tried to, they tried, they tried like a. And you knew about all the gangs everything when yeah. you were young that was just kind of yeah. obvious to you? Hell yeah. I've been to about this when I was young. I got pictures when I'm like three, four years old doing up the hood. Really? Oh, yeah, I've been to this way it was going to be. And you, you, when you're three or four years old though, like they're just Clearly, kinda... clearly I'm being coached, but <laughs> on the dead homies, I got it though. It's there. Right. <laughs> clearly somebody told me to do it, but right. on gang, I got pictures of young niggas throwing up the hood. Holy On the dead homies. Well, are the three-year-olds like dissing the ops or are they just representing where they're from? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I had pictures of dissing the ops or nothing, cause I seen some pictures of like young Chicago was dudes like that young. dropping their enemies and, and like in the photos, like throwing up the gang signs, dissing their their enemies, and yeah. it's kind of wild, like to have a little kid doing that. Yeah, yeah, that's how that go though, cuz. Yeah, it's just deeply rooted in, the, in you. Shit huh? in the projects, they start projects, grave money on us. They got kids over there, seven, eight years old. Right. Hell yeah, that's how that shit go. That's just all they know at a certain point, huh? Hell yeah. Damn. Okay. So, when did you first get arrested, or what was that like? Uh, when I was like 13 years old, I caught like a robbery case cut with all the homies. We was on bunk cut back. We was trained, bus them days. We was on bunk cut on the bus cut, gang of homies on hood, robbed some people on the bus, did homies in the running, didn't get away. So that was just a normal day for you guys? That you would just go hop on the bus and just sort of look for people? You- no, it wasn't even like that type of shit. We had a mission because we, we was already had a destination to go. We was finna go to my auntie house cut. We was finna go to my auntie house on the hood and we just on the bus. But we just like all together or groups, we just like on bunk, cause when y'all together on bunk and it just, y'all just on the bus, people looking, the homies just on bunk, what the f- looking at, and they say something now, you on them. Uh-huh. That type of situation. It was just like some small words that elevated to end up getting robbed, to end up getting sticky. Really? So yeah. every, everybody in the whole crew got arrested? Nah, uh, most of us did. Like two, three of us got away. Mm-hmm. Like three homies got away, cause on the dead homies, like three of us got away, but sh- everybody really got caught. I mean, you, like, in a so you weren't so lucky though? Yeah, I wasn't so lucky. I was like 13 years old, too. How long did you get locked up for? I did like four months. Re- off your first, first arrest? First, too. first arrest. Did four months, got out on probation, and then it was just bad ever since. I never got on probation. Never got off that paperwork. See, that's kind of wild to picture, like, get, getting arrested for your first time, and then they make you go sit down for that long? Yeah, like, first time, four months. That's wild. Mm. I adjusted quick, though, because I was already like a, like you said, I was already like a bad little kid in the hood, because so that's just like... Natural when they put you around other bad little kids, right? On gangs, that's what we. You know, that's what we do. You start getting introduced to people that aren't from your neighborhood. Do you think that sped up the process of you getting in trouble right there? 
uh, spread up the process of me getting in trouble. Yeah, or because what? now all of a sudden you're just meeting a shitload more people that you that. Well, yeah, now you yeah now you hang with all yeah 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 different yeah. gangs, different licks that they know yeah, about. Yeah, now you hang with other people. Yeah, more other little shit get opened up to you. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, but did you hate it? Like, because I feel like. You seem like the kind of person that maybe would be able to make the best of it when it comes to the whole jail experience. Did I hate jail? Yeah. Hell yeah, I hate it. But I'm not gonna be. I'm not one of them niggas that's gonna be in jail like a stress case. Cause I hate jailing around them type of niggas. I want to go home. All this I could be doing that. I have moments though where I'm in there like fuck. Uh, I want to go home. This shit bunk. But then for the but you can't do that shit. You'll just you'll stress you'll stress yourself out. You'll be in there stressed out. Right. You gotta stay strong minded. on gang. And if you got a good support system at home, you can call a bitch or a family whoever that's gonna keep you going. I always had like a good support system, and I was. Okay, I got a strong mind because I don't let that shit break me. I get in there and I just do my thing. Who's your support system? Your, your brothers? Yeah, or? family, different little bitches, whatever little bitch I'm going to fucking with around the time. Yeah. Hell yeah. Right. So we established this last time I talked to you that you've always had bitches. Yeah, for sure. This has never been a problem. You always had bitches. Right. Yeah. But even at 13, you had girls that were really holding you down or you're locked up? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I had bitches and I went to did a camp program, 16, 17 years old. I had bitches sending me hygiene, all type of shit. Really? Hell yeah. What do you think it is? You just know how to talk to them? You just yeah, I just always gift? been like, since I've been like a young nigga, always hung around older niggas, always like, always been like more mature than my pack. I always been like, always been like mature, cuz, so, on game, don't be no problem, cuz, to get no, no bitch, cuz, to hold me down, or no older bitch to do what I want her to do. But are you like the girlfriend type, or are you the type to just be having girls letting you borrow their car, and you're like getting money out of them, and... It depends. If a bitch got like certain type of quality, if, if a bitch like a certain type of bitch, she checking like boxes that I need her to check, then on game, she might have, I might make her my bitch. Right. But for the most part, though, I'm not. When I'm fucking with a bitch, my first thing is not this my bitch. It's just like, we just cooling right now. We're having a good time. We, we doing what we doing. But you end up having to have that conversation pretty quickly of like, I am not your boyfriend. You can't tell me what to do. Oh, they just going, they just already know, cuz. They know. Mm. They know. When the nigga trophied up, they know. Like, cuz, this nigga have any bitch he want. I'm just right. Let me just on game. When bitches, can, when bitches know they with a trophy, cuz. They know what's up, cuz. So when they come in your life, it's just basically like the best bitch win. So mm-hmm. the bitches be just trying to make a mark. All right. the bitches you do, they, they, they just be trying to make a mark, cuz. Wow. But, but if you meet the they right one. They be trying one, to leave an impact. If you meet the right one, you could imagine yourself spending a couple years like in a relationship where you're, you're not really thinking about other chicks and shit like that? <sighs> not thinking about other chicks? <laughs> 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 kind of hard to imagine. Yeah, it's gonna be that's gonna be hard, cause she that's gonna be hard, cause on the dead homie. That's gonna be hard on her when that nigga around all type of bitches. Like I said, I've been in and out of jail. Cause I just did four years, cause so I'm trying to hit everything I could. Right, dead homies. And I just did a gang of time in jail. I'm trying to. When you get out of jail, are girls understanding about that? Even if they were holding you down, that you get out of jail and you're gonna need to fuck some random chicks to get it out of your system. Some bitches is bird brains and just don't know nothing, cause. <laughs> Some bitches don't know nothing. Right. Certain bitches don't know nothing, and they just be like, you know. And when a bitch got a certain type of nigga, they be on them all to themselves. Mm. On gang, so, yeah. I've had that many times in my life where you got a girl who's just a hoe, and you think, like, like she's just down to fuck you whenever. You can call her anytime. She's going to do shit for you, et yeah, cetera. Right. Yeah. But then it always just turns into a situation where she feels offended that yeah. she's not your girlfriend or that she doesn't get an extra level of attention from you. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. Hell yeah. I ain't really been worrying about bitches though lately, cause I've been trying to worry about getting rich, cause right. bitches gonna bitches gonna be a distraction. You get rich and that shit's just gonna come. And yeah, it's just gonna come. You get rich and then you're gonna get introduced to a whole new level oh, of chick of, that yeah. you aren't gonna get as a regular shit, dude. Yeah, some shit that a nigga ain't probably even used to. Right. Like, uh, hold on, you gotta teach me how to be in this relationship. Cause I'm used to toxic shit, bitch. I'm used to have to slapping a bitch and call it a bitch a bitch, <laughs> all that type of shit. You gotta well, teach me this. If you if your fame gets to the level of you having a million followers and getting a million views on every video and shit like that, it's just gonna open that shit up so much. You're gonna have yeah. random Hispanic women who want to spend time with you. You're gonna yeah. have white girls in Calabasas and then asking you to spend the night. Yeah, yeah, but nah, yeah, yeah, I know, hell yeah, not to be straight too. I know how to be in a relationship. Though. I know how to treat a bitch, cause I'm getting got really. I I had real relationships before, though. I'm getting real relationships, but my baby mama, cuz, she just made it hard for these bitches. Really? Hell yeah. In what way? She'd be beating them up and shit? She's just so fucking toxic and so weird, <laughs> and it's just been so much shit, cuz. I'm just, like, cool on a bitch right now. Really? Hell yeah. So she kind of showed you the dark side of how wild a relationship she, can she, get? She brought out, hell yeah, she brought out the evil side of me. And how distracting from what yeah. you're trying to do with your life? Exactly. Hmm. Could you imagine if you yourself in a relationship like with a Kardashian and just like holding her down and not cheating and shit? Hell no, nah, cuz. <laughs> I'm cool on them type bitches, cuz. Hell no. Nah. Really? Hell no. Nah. They would just be too that's much too, work. That's like, yeah, that's too industry, cuz. I'm still a hood nigga, though, cuz. I'm still a hood nigga. I want a bitch that's like 
that's like at least you gotta like you gotta know something, bitch. You, you just too like you. She ain't never probably even. She don't know nothing. All she knows is the suburbs. She don't know nothing. She gone. I'm a hood nigga, but you gotta pull up, reverse in. You gotta hold the blick. It's certain shit you gotta do, girl. She Kardashians aren't doing that. They not doing that, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm a hood nigga, bro. They not doing that. And from my experience, like moving out here, because I'm from the fucking East Coast in the middle of nowhere, it's like when you move out here and there's all these models and actresses and shit like that, the hottest girls you ever seen in your life, the worst people you ever met in your life, and the least in common with you that you're ever going to meet in your life. So it's like this weird thing where you want to kick it with them because you want to fuck, but then you just have nothing in common with them and they just their mind state is so different than what you come from if you come from humble beginnings yeah. that it's just hard to relate to some of these baddies that you meet out here. Yeah. Definitely. Um, yeah. Okay, so you did that four months, and then at what point, you, you get out, and you just, like, keep going back yeah, and forth? Yeah, I was forth? in and out, cuz. And then, like, I was the type of nigga, cuz I used to never check in my PO, too, so I used to be on the run a lot, too, for not checking in my PO, shit like that, cuz, gun cases, all type of shit. I stayed in that motherfucker. I stayed on the run. I stayed in jail when I was a young nigga. Really? Hey, yo, yeah, I stayed in that motherfucker. Damn. So what was that, though, that you just couldn't force yourself to check in with your PO, even though you know that that's what's going to keep you out on the street? Yeah, man. I used to just be up, just to just be on bunk, huh? just a little dummy. On the dead homie, just a dummy. I ain't doing nothing. I'm on the block right now. I'm in the hood. I could be going to check on my PO, but I'm just, I'm in the hood. Just right. do stupid shit. Yeah. And that, that's the weird thing. Like, about, uh, fuck, uh, I'm, I'm right here. I'm doing, I'm doing what I'm doing. Being a rapper, it's like you have to start looking out for your own best oh, yeah. interests. You know, you got to stay out of trouble so you can keep making money, so you can live this life and do shows and oh, yeah, now, be able to yeah, do all this sure. shit. Now I'm so programmed up and so gamed up, bro, on the dead homies. I did four years in prison. They really matured up and really got smart and really like, I'm pretty programming myself to be a real artist. I didn't already did everything else now. So mm-hmm. on gang, I'm really going to be a real artist now. Right. So were you thinking about, well, okay, so... You didn't finish high school, I'm guessing? No, nah, hell no, nah, man. What what age Jail. did you get to? Uh, or what grade? Eighth grade. Eighth grade, you got, you were done? Yeah, eighth grade, I was done, bro. I was in jail after that. Wow. Oh, yeah. And is that the four-year bid that we're talking about? Uh, No. I went to, uh, shit, I was in and out of, shit, I was in and out of the halls, too, in middle school, though. But no, nah, I did the uh, four years when I turned 18. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. And what was that case for? Uh, Arm robbery. Okay. I got ad charged for that motherfucker because I was in jail for some whole other shit. On the dead homies, little, little bitch I was fucking with around the time on her. We went to jail together on Crip. What did uh, you and her get locked up for? Some uh, bullshit robbery. Okay. On gang bullshit robbery. Yeah, we go to jail on the dead homies. Both got the same release date, all the shit. She get out on that release date. The day, be- the day before, I end up getting ad charged. They're like, oh, this was in the IE County, though. So, like, oh, you get ad charged with you. Ooh, we're going to ship you out to LA County. Bye. Dead homies. So, on Crip, she get out. The next day, man, I go to L.A. County. I'm fighting a case. On her. Another case? Yeah, another case. For him, Robbie. That I been, did, been, got it, been, 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 been on crib. Popped that motherfucker. Popped up on me. They're like, yeah, it is you. So if they had charged you for both of those together, then you would have probably ended up running that yeah. time together uh, concurrently. But th- because it, they just chose to charge you after. They know what the after. fuck they was doing, yeah. Yeah. They They know what the fuck they was doing. And that's how I ended up getting two strikes. Because the first robbery... Man, when I went with her, that was like some little bullshit. But like a robbery case, you got to take a They come with a strike. So you right. got to take a strike regardless. So, bam, they waited till, bam, he done with that one, give him a strike. Then, bam, hit this one on him. Now another strike. That's how I got two strikes. Wow. <laughs> Gang, they, have, they, they, they got ways, cuz. So it really felt like they were out to get you. Yeah, yeah, bro. They already know what's up with me, bro. They don't want no nigga like me on the street. They know what's up with me. I just got blurped up in the hood by Crash the other day. It was the first time they ever let me go in my whole career ever. Really? On a dead homie's crash. Ain't never, I ain't never had an episode where I've been on parole, probation. On cri- where you can't be around your homies, shit like that. And so what's crash for, for them? Oh, that's a uh, gang unit. Right. Like the police, like gang unit. And they let you go? They let me go, bro. And was that super shocking to you? Hell yeah, bro. They treat me like a, a artist, bro. They treat me like this shit was like this shit different. Really? Because you kind of think they would be more excited to hey, lock you, you up. Yeah, hell yeah, bro. I, I asked them that too. I'm like, bro, do y'all sit back there in the office, bro, on the dead homies and really like, all right, cuff and be on, bro. Go get cuff. It's right. like, hell no, nah, we on. Um, like, yeah, whatever. Uh, hurry up and start, bro. I got to do something. Uh, a lot of times, though, I'm watching interviews and stuff, and I'm thinking, if the cops aren't watching this, they're not really doing their job because yeah. there's a lot of information. Nah, they be watching me, bro. Right. The crash be excited when they see me. You know, they be fending out. But they searched you and shit? Were they yeah, looking they for a reason to get you? Usually, cause they be searching my shit for like on a dead homie. But before this rap shit, on crib, they be searching my shit for like an hour, two hours. They already know I got it on me. Like, mm-hmm. nah, it's in there. Cause I got it. They'll call another car. Nah, cause I got it. It's in there. Now it's like, all right, damn. They see what I'm doing. They see me like on a damn trophy and up. They see me doing this rap shit. They're like, uh huh. Treat me like an artist. Search my shit for like 10 minutes. Are some of these cops 15 minutes, got people it. that you've known for a while because they've like talked yeah, to you? Yeah, one over of the them, years? The, the nigga that uh, blurt me up, put up on me, he took me to jail before. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, gang, you took me to jail before. Hell yeah, found a blick in the car a couple, couple years back, took me to jail for it. Oh, gang, he just took me to jail again, too. April 7th on the hood day, I did a little violation. Right. Then he reminded me, like, oh, remember me? I took you to jail a long time ago. I found the blick in the car. I'm like, well, dead homie, that was you. Right. Yeah. Then he just pulled up on me again, let me go. So I'm like, all right, I'm hood, cool. Damn. So you feel like they might actually have your back a little bit? No, I had my back, bro, on the dead homies. I don't want them niggas to have my back. Just. <laughs> but they might <laughs> y'all want y'all see me over here just on the dead homies, bro. They let might want to see you win, right? I, I don't know. Hell no, nah, bro. That's the cops, bro. They don't want to see no nigga win. Right. They want to see a nigga in jail. Is there anybody from 40s you were looking at as successful as you were growing up? Or is it kind of... Because like a lot of times there'll be like a big ass gang from LA, but there won't really be like a star that comes out of that area for years and years and years. Well, shit, we got, hell yeah, we got shit, D Jack. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah, D Jack. Hell yeah. I used to be always like, yeah, looking up to D Jack and all that type of shit when I was younger, playing Madden, all that type of shit, cut, watching NFL games. Homie used to be like, you know, cut from the hood. I'm like, never. And he signed you, right? Nah, cut and sign me. What's the relationship there? I've heard that a lot. That's just my bro. That's cut from the hood, bro. That's just my big bro in the hood. He from the hood. So he just started fucking with you yeah, early on? Yeah, just like fuck with me. On gang, nigga just started making noise and cut like kept hearing my name, so he tapped in. And you don't have any kind of business relationship, or how's that go? And nah, I ain't got no business with cut. I just like my boy on gang. Okay, interesting. I be going to cut studio. He like, he just fuck with me. We locked in. Okay, that's what's up. So nah, I ain't no, ain't no, ain't signed or nothing, nothing. Right. Cut or nothing. Okay. How'd you start? With the music in the first place, though, like was that a thing that w- before you started really getting locked up, or when did you start recording? Uh, when I went to the studio with Chink, like 2015, 16, went to the studio with Cub. I was just at my boy Cub JB house on 43rd. I don't know who used to be over there hanging out, and then uh, my boy I from West Boulevard, Cub, he used to be over there too. And Cub dad had some equipment that he didn't want no more, like some studio equipment. Mm-hmm. So we like, oh, man, I got the equipment, like come pick it up, type shit. Okay, he went over there and picked it up. And shit, they just had that shit sitting right there at JB house for the longest, cuz before JB like, fuck it, let me set this shit up. They set it up. Chink started rapping, doing what he started doing on gang. I used to be watching them. I'm like, nah, y'all rapping, I ain't doing that shit. Really? Chink rapping. I'm 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 in the hood, I'm doing this. this I'm gang banging. You thought you were too, too gang related to yeah, do it? Yeah, I yeah, I was too hard to rap, cuz. Right. Yeah, so uh uh Chink was doing this shit, made him a SoundCloud, getting his numbers, shit was booming, cuz that shit was hard. I'm listening, I'm like, cut this shit hard, right. cuz. There's a lot of your early videos yeah. with him. Mm-hmm. I thought yeah. his name was Chunk, because he uses yeah. the X instead of the Instead of yeah, instead yeah. of R. Yeah, it was named Chink. You know, gang. So he told me, like, cuz you like a natural popper anyway. You just like good at just like talking shit anyway, cuz you'll be hard, bro. I can just see it, I can hear it. So Chink was like really like the one that like pushed like everything with his rap shit. Right. Gang. What's the music that you remember listening to like throughout high school and shit before you really got into rapping? Uh, a lot of Draco. Uh, fuck, uh, shit, shit, a lot of Draco. That's the only one that come to my mind right now. I'm sure it's all type of other shit, cause shit, that's the only one that come to my mind. I listen to a lot of Draco. Right. On gang. But then you were telling me the other day that uh, Rilo Rodriguez is. Oh yeah, Rilo. Somebody. That's my that's my favorite rapper though, like, right now. Okay. These days, that's kind of what you yeah. look to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before though, Rilo wasn't out back then though. That right now, right, type. Yeah. But yeah, I got our Rilo in prison. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. What What is it about him though? It was like the, the he was just the speaking pain that real shit. Yeah, that pain shit. Cause speaking that real shit and the way cause say it and just like cause just hard on the dead homies. Cause hard. Right. What okay. did you What did you love about? And, him? and I'm kind of like on the dead homie. Me and like cuck like kind of like I ain't got. I ain't gonna say similar, but like kind of like similar, cuz, because cuz, like you see come in front of the camera, he like really like on camera type nigga. He really like, they be, I be, I seen certain shit where they call cuz like uh, awkward on camera. They be saying the same shit about me, like cuz awkward on camera. Cuz be looking awkward in cuz videos, but I'm really on the day. I get in the stool and I cook up that shit on the day, homies. I'm gonna right. shoot a good video. I'm a, the music part easy. It's just the camera shit and all that type of shit. So and I see that in cuz too. So I'm like, on gang, I understand cuz that pain, just the shit cuz be talking about. Right. On gang. I feel like some people, uh, they they like that. They're drawn to that when they yeah. can tell that you're kind of fucked up. Like I think yeah. about somebody like Young Boy. I think about somebody like Draco. If they could see it in your face that yeah. you've been through a lot in your yeah. life, people are like really drawn yeah. to that. And I I do think that you kind of give off that vibe where mm-hmm. people just look at you and they just feel like, oh shit, this guy's just done a lot of living for a young dude. I'm gonna do it, homies. <laughs> <laughs> you feel like an old soul? Yeah, for sure. I be saying all the time. Cause I feel like I was like on the dead homies. I feel like I was. On this earth before, cuz, like an old rich nigga. Mm. I feel like I was an old rich guy, cuz. Right. Hell yeah, I be feeling like I got an old soul. But I gravitate more towards older niggas. Like, I just be like on some, I be on some different shit, bro. They're homies. I be on like on some other shit. Right. Hell yeah, I got an old soul. I like oldies. My favorite movie, The Temptations, Dave Ruffin. Really? Yeah, homies. I watched that movie like 20 times. I don't know if I ever seen the movie. My parents yeah, made me listen to them all the time as a kid. Hell yeah, girl. Okay. 
Yeah, I got a little bit of the old soul, but then, you know, I can tap into the, like, you know, the gen, when Gen Z. You know, when did you start feeling like you had a little bit of motion with the music, like when the music started to seem like it was working and the people were appreciating it? Uh, mm-hmm. People, I don't know, because everybody was just telling me. Everybody just telling me. I'm gang, and then you start getting treated different. That's how you know. Mm. That's how you know this shit different. You start getting treated different, and yeah. But that's how you really know when you start getting treated different. People there, start dick riding more. Right. I'm gang. You start getting bitches that would have never talked to you before. That's how you know, okay, this shit different. But there was like a diss song. Like you did the thing where you came out with a diss yeah. song basically getting at everybody that you aren't supposed to get along with in exactly. LA, right? Yep, exactly. And uh, was that a big decision? Even some hoods we don't really beef with like that, I didn't say fuck them on that song. Cause. Really? But I was just like a young nigga. You know, you a, you a young nigga, cuz, in the halls, cuz, on the dead homies, and, and you got a nigga that you just fucking with, and it's your boy. On gang getting cut before them, but you just so locked in with cut, you just like fuck it, I'm, I'm fuck them niggas too. So I didn't have that song was just like from camp and juvenile hall experiences, niggas that on hood and broke the rolling or said fuck the hood and all type of shit. And so I'm just like, I made that song when I was like 16, 17 years old. Really? Yeah, I was even I never even seen a county jail before I made that song. But that's kind of interesting because I feel like there's a lot of people out here and they will only diss the people that they're not supposed to get along with. Yeah. So it doesn't really have that much to do with like how they personally feel about people. But yeah. you, you were working yeah, I said, from real fuck life all type of shit. I said fuck all type of shit on the dead homies. And what make it really better on the dead homies? I said fuck all type of shit and I done been in and out of jail so much and it ain't no smut on my name, bro. Nobody mm-hmm. never took my store. Nobody never slapped me. Nobody never spit on me. Nobody never marked me out. None of that shit on the dead homies. And I'm a known face. And that niggas, and when you like a known nigga, niggas can't wait to smut you up. Niggas can't wait to put that out there. I done been in and out of jail so much. On um, Cobain, never got DP'd in jail, never got broke off, nothing. They would have been, that would have been out. X4 got a store took, X4 got slapped, marked out, nothing. Right. They ain't turned down no fade, nothing, bro. So that's what make it better. Cut rap like that, and cut really like that. Right. I done been put in environments where there's no gun, no nothing. You got to really, that's what it is. You better fight. Because you said like 30 fades. You've been throwing that number out in some of the lyrics yeah. and shit. Yeah, like, yo, yeah, I used to write down all my fades, cut in the horse. Really? I fight a nigga on the dead homies. I'll go back in the room, I'll write it down. From Anybody famous or notable? Uh, I don't want to sound with a name. <laughs> Is that bad taste? The game, finna get no nigga no. But yeah, on the dead homies, I was in camp. Well, I was in camp with one on Crip Cud, like rapping right now on the hood, doing this shit from the other side on gang. I was in camp with Cud right. on gang. I ain't got nothing bad to say about Cud though. He was doing his little shit. Wasn't a woofer. He was squabbling. He was programming. Cud from the other side though on gang. I That's a wild with. thing that these days, like you go in there, you have a fight. Like there's this legendary Crip Mac Jap Five fight. Yeah. And nobody's seen it, but everybody heard about it. We all heard so many different versions of it that we all feel like we kind of know what happened. And that's, that's the wildest shit, because if that happened in a place where everybody had phones, that video would have been insanely viral, but instead we all just get to hear about it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, hell yeah, Kyle. That's Definitely. how that should go, Kyle. So out of, gonna fight in there. out of 30 fights, how many times would you say you got your ass whooped? On a dead homies, bro. I ain't never lost no fade in the in, in halls, bro. On Crip Gang, I ain't never lost no fade in the halls in camp. On the day homes, I didn't start losing phase till I got to the county jail, bro. And I'm not, I'm not no capper, I'm not no storyteller, nigga. Beat my ass, I'm gonna say cut, beat me up, bro. Right. Whatever, I'm gonna tell it real on the day homies. I ain't never lost no, no fade, cause and in, in, in halls and camp. And any nigga that been with me in the halls and camp can vouch for this on the day homies. I ain't, I been, I was whooping shit out, bro. In there, I was undefeated, bro. On crit. And is it kind of like weight classes, like in the UFC, because they're not gonna put no, you up bro. against a six five dude, are they? Shit, it's not about putting you up, cause about shit. If you run into a big nigga, that's what it's gonna be, cause. That's what it is. So it's not like other dudes setting I didn't up fall these niggas, fights? Bro, I, and shit, shit, huh? It's, is it like other dudes like setting up the fights for you because you just came in? Nah, hell no. Nigga, you set it up yourself. When you walk in there, you're on your own type of time. Where niggas from? Where are you from? You from where? Are we going to get down? They don't be just like that. We're in the halls a little bit different because more childish and more woofing and more fuck with you and all that type of shit. And the county is more like civilized. Our band, we going to get down after child. We're going to set it up like this. Bam, 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 like this. And, and, and the halls is more, all right, fuck with you, behind y'all squabbling. No, see, warning stop is more of a scene making. And the county is more like, all right, more structure type of fight. But going through all that, did it give you, like, more confidence that you were going to be able to survive in this world? Because that's just a shitload of fights to go through. And to come out unscathed or relatively unscathed is pretty amazing. Yeah, hell yeah, cuz. Hell yeah, that's, that's just why I'm naturally, cuz. So it wasn't all like, I don't be like... I don't know, cuz I be seeing a lot of people, cuz they be like, oh, oh, you was going up in the county, or you was this, or you was that, or got stories about me, cuz I just be like, that shit's like regular, cuz. But just see the type of joy in niggas' eyes from a nigga doing what he's supposed to do in the county just goes to show me that you a bitch. Mm. I'm crip. You, 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 I'm, you, you giving me cookies and, and, and trophies for it, doing what I'm supposed to do, bro. This is what a nigga signed up for. Mm. I'm crip. So you go in the county, you better handle your business. So by you gassing me up, you was doing your shit in the county. You a bitch. <laughs>
<laughs> right. That's but, what you're supposed to do. But I mean, a lot of people, well, because you're talking about people who have been in that environment. To me, yeah. as somebody who hasn't been yeah. in that environment, it's kind of like impressive or, or crazy. But to yeah. you, you're saying that's like the bare minimum of what you got to do if you're in there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 cuz. Fighting. Better prepare to fight, cuz. You're going to fight. Damn. You're going to fight, cuz. Especially like from a hood like where I'm from, cuz. We got a gang of enemies, bro. So nigga going to fight. Right. It's a lot of, it's a couple of people going there, cuz. I don't got to, they go to court or go to the county. They only got to worry about one or two hoods. We got to worry about all, nigga, all type of shit. Right. They got enemies. But shit. That's what it is, cuz. Definitely. Cold as a motherfucker, this motherfucker. Cold, you see me shivering? Is it colder? Look at this, cuz I got that shivers on the dead homies. I feel like it's pretty solid. I saw your lip shaking. I was wondering. I'm like, he's oh, cold? Crib like, game, bro. Cold? I'm cold as fuck, cuz. <laughs> oh, crib. Oh, shit. All right. Um, nigga got the shivers, bro. That's, I'm anemic, cuz. I'm anemic. Are you really? On the dead homies, bro. How, how you get like that? You gotta eat more steak and shit, I think. I know, bro. I'm skinny as fuck, bro. I, um, I, got, a, I got a jail sized up. Is, but, your, is your diet not great? I don't be eating like that, bro. I ain't gonna lie, cuz I'm a dead homies, bro. Lately, I ain't been eating, bro. I've been just smoking on crib, bro. And when you in some toxic shit, bro, I just stopped fucking my baby mama. That shit was toxic, bro. We in some toxic shit and just all type of shit. And I got a million on my mind. It's all type of shit, cuz. So, nigga wasn't really like eating, bro. I wake up, I smoke on a dead homies. I right. might eat a burger or something in the middle of the day, but shit, other than that, I wasn't really eating like that. And Jay already eat up, get greedy on the dead homies, do my push ups, get my sides up. So, every time I get out, I'll be sized up. Really? But you just can't carry that over to the Oh, no, the I'm real finna world? get it back now. I'm finna, oh, I'm finna trophy up, cuz. It's some, ooh, I'm finna trophy up, cuz. Hell yeah, I'm finna get it back, though. My whole little life finna change. But when you say trophy, is it important for you to be that guy from where you're from? Because you, I, I feel like it's it's been kind of underrepresented, right? Like, yeah. when you talk about 60s, it's like hella famous rappers who came from there and shit. Yeah. When we talk about the 40s, it's like maybe people don't know as much about it, and mm -hmm. you could kind of be the one to, like, make your hood even more. Well, nah, known. niggas know about the forties, cuz right. yeah, homies. Niggas know, nah, niggas know about the hood, cuz I'm not the first one that's like, uh, we uh, before me shit. It was uh, KS. Okay. I don't know if you familiar with KS, but shit, uh -huh. KS, you know, did the shit with YG, the nip, the band from the gang song, band right. from the gang. Yeah, it was cuz okay. on the gang, but he was just like in and out of jail, cuz so that's what like fuck cuz little shit off. But they don't know all that. Hey, niggas been know about the rolling forties, cuz on gang. Right. I'm not gonna never like lead out that message like, oh, I'm putting the hood on the map, cause niggas already know about the hood, cuz I'm just like taking this shit like. Far, cuz. Right. Hood, are, hood already on the map. Niggas already know about us. I'm just like finna do some shit that a lot of homies ain't never did, though. Right, yeah. Not to take anything away from them. But yeah. it's like, you know, anytime there's yeah. a hood in LA and they have yeah. a rapper coming out and there's, it's not necessarily a yeah. place that has had a shitload of rappers come out before, yeah. I can always kind of feel that level of pride. Like, even Blueface is like a reality star damn yeah. near now. Him putting on Schoolyard and all his tweets and shit, I mean, like, that's kind of crazy. Like, that's that's it make, just, it making like, it so much bigger as a yeah, result. Yeah, it'd be like you know? that. Cause it could be a nigga from, a, like, a bullshit hood. Them niggas can be five deep, ten deep, but they just got, like, a famous-ass nigga, and they're mm -hmm. just making it look so good. So they got the streets really confused, or the people that really don't know about this shit confused. But if you know, you know. Right. So in the dead homies, we ain't really had nobody that really, like, make it, like, really, like, that far out the hood, like, far as, like, with this rap shit. We got niggas that do other shit, though. Like I said, NFL and other little shit, own businesses and all. The 40s got all type of, type of niggas over there. Mm -hmm. But far as with this rap shit, we ain't really made it that far, cause in the hood. Right. But yeah, that's how that shit go, cuz it could be a bullshit, nigga, cuz just cuz cuz rapping. Making that shit look good. Right. 100%. But yeah, niggas been know about the hood, though. It's still sporty, though, right? Still sporty, like the 40s. Sporty forever. Sporty forever. Right. What, what is sporty, <laughs> like, when you think about being sporty, what's that mean to you? What you think about being sporty? Yeah. You just like, you just sporty, cuz you just like a low, cuz you ain't got no smut on your name, cuz you just sporty. You fly. And sporty can be different things, though. You're like, your jacket is sporty. Well, that motherfucker's sporty, bro. Is it? I feel like your jacket is more sporty than yeah, mine. Yeah, it's the dead homies, I, just got, a, I got a hoodie, yeah. but... Shut yeah, up. shout out Thirsty P, cuz. the dead homies. Trifling. Trifling. Thirsty P. Yeah. You're a thirsty crip. I yeah. hear that in the songs a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a thirsty crip, cuz. What's your definition of thirsty in that regard? Uh, it's different definitions, cuz. You can be thirsty for as like, cuz, thirsty nigga, like, every time a bitch walk in the room or every time you're around some bitches, you just like, own them, cuz. I ain't don't even let the bitches breathe. Like, cuz, you thirsty, bro. Chill. Somebody got some perks. You get thirsty. The I hate <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, thirsty, cuz. And then you got niggas that's just like, on oh, hood, thirsty for op hunter. What'd you say? Op hunter. A, a thirsty op hunter. A thirsty op hunter. Ooh, so somebody was just dying to yeah, up you, the you score. Just, dying to up the score, cuz. Damn. Trying to up his rank. So which kind of sporty are you? Or uh, thirsty are you? Which kind of thirsty am I? Shit, cuz. It depends. It depends on what day it is. Mm -hmm. It depends on what day it is. But the problem is, as far as I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm for sure <laughs> not, go. I'm for sure not one though, cause on the dead homies, I don't be doing that no more, cause right. I, 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 I grew that. The perks, 
No, no, I don't never die. I don't do perks. I never popped a perk in my life. I don't really? even like, yeah, that perk shit out. I'll be telling my, I don't even like when my niggas pop perks. I'll be telling, bro, that shit out, okay? I don't need that shit. They homies. I don't like bitches that pop perks. Bitch pop perks, that's gonna turn me off. Right. Hey, I'm cool on that shit. Hell no, I never pop perks. Hell no, but damn, what the fuck I was gonna say before this? What I was saying? Um, in terms of just being thirsty, like, there's a lot of different. Yeah, being thirsty, yeah. Oh, yeah, as far as the first one, y'all grew that one, cuz. As far as uh, being thirsty when a bitch walk in the room, hell no. Right. I be letting bitches, like, really get up on me now, cuz, nigga, too trophied up. And now that a nigga so trophied up, cuz, bitches be trying to have stories to tell, cuz. So you would get up on a bitch or on a dead homie's nigga go run and tell everybody, cuz. Yeah. You're yeah, gonna homies. end up with the same problem that Sexy Red has, where she'd be giving pussy to just random dudes, and then the dudes go on Instagram yeah. Live or film her or whatever to expose it right after, because she's so famous and yeah. feels like she wasn't, like, ready for the fact that dudes yeah. were gonna be that like that. That's, fucking, Cause that's thirsty. That bitch a fucking rack, bro. Once a, bro, you can't on a dead homie, bro. If a bitch a rack, cuz, she's just gonna be a rat no matter where you take her, cuz. You can take a bitch to Dubai and give her all the money, bro. A bitch is gonna be a fucking rat, bro. On mm. a dead homie, she just, that's bum. <laughs> but she's not the one exposing it. They're the ones exposing but her. But she's the one that's doing that shit. Bitch, you got all this money. You got you can be on the dead homies. Bitch, you can go be somebody's wife right now. Bitch, you just play your fucking role, right? You wanna you just so caught up with this rat shit. You just on the dead. That's what she get. Right. Oh, that's her business. But I mean, for somebody she like her, exposed because she gonna keep in the rat. Rat's gonna always gonna get exposed. Yeah, but she, her problem is is that she wants to fuck. She would probably fuck with you. Like if she came here and she just happened to meet you, that bitch ain't got no boom, to fuck she with would me. get your number. You be, she'd be trying to holler at you. I guarantee. Uh, it's on the dead homie, I ain't got a bitch to cold shoulder. It's not gonna work. Hell no. Nah. Is it just the red that turns you off? Or? It's just the way she is, bro. She's just like a rat, bro. On the dead homie, she's just a bullshit. You can find them type of bitches anywhere. It's somebody type of bitches on the block right now. Mm. On the dead homie, she but just, she's she's the one who made it. Yeah, but shit, cuz. Hell no. That's, before what, that's you, what make it worse. Before you became that's what make it worse. What you've become now, you, you, she she would be like, oh, he's just another dude hanging out on the block, right? But now, like once yeah. you get once you become a trophy, like she's a trophy for St. Louis. No, yeah, she's the she, best she, trophy they she got. She a trophy. I'm not on a dead homie. She a trophy for sure. On a dead homie, she a trophy, but she a fucking trophy rat. Mm. She, but would it weird you out? Like, let's say that you were feeling her, but she she's doing all this blood shit. Would that be weird for you as somebody who's such a dedicated crip, or is it all good? Cause oh, no, hell no, that city. shit don't mean nothing. My baby mama blood. Really? Hell yeah, yeah. My baby mama blood, bro. She like out the lanes, projects, on crip. That shit don't mean nothing. Hell no, on a dead homies, but I wouldn't fuck with sexy red though. Really? Hell no. But, okay, having your baby mama be a blood, is like, does that ever get awkward? Because not, not even just you and her, but I feel like there's got to be brothers or, or family members or people on her block that all of a sudden feel some type of way about her being involved with you, right? Nah, because I'm the type of nigga, cuz, on the dead homies, when a bitch fuck with me, she on what I'm on, she on my program, cuz, so on the dead homies. If you like gang banging type bitch and hanging on the block and doing all that, when you get with me, you're not going to be on that. Mm. On gang. So she, I made her into like some hoes. She was on some hoes. I don't fuck with her right now, though. We're not on dead homies. It's already on crib. But when I was like, on that type of time with her, I made her to like a different type of bitch girl to where she wasn't even on that type of shit, game banging type shit. So she would, you wouldn't even know she was from nowhere until she, like she told you, or unless I, I told you type of shit. She ain't just like blood and just super like one of those type of bitches. But she from over there though. But what if a girl like swims up in your DM, she trying to throw some pussy at you, but then when you're looking at her page, you start to realize like, oh, she's really from your op hood. Yeah. Like, that that shit that happened, cuz our bitches try to get up on me on the dead homies. Our bitches really try to get up on me. And right. real bitches from, from 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 other side on the dead homies. But I don't, I don't be trusting bitches, bro. So the, the the main concern is like they could be trying to get you lined up. But then besides that, would you be down to fuck with them? Because, you know, whatever, like who cares? It's a girl. No. Really? Hell no. Can't do it. No, I can't do it, cuz. I can't do it. I can't do it. Mm. I can't do it. Not at the point I am now, cuz I've been trophy. I don't know. Come on, some. I'm, I'm turning bougie, bro. <laughs> I'm turning boozy, cuz that's what it is, cuz I'm gonna just put it out there, cuz I'm turning boozy, bro, on the day on me. Certain bitches that could have had a chance, they ain't got no chance no more, bro. Okay, yeah. most some other shit, bro. I did gotta be a certain type of bitch now, cuz on crib. No more regular bitches getting hit, no more nothing on the day on me. It's just See, trophy shit, cuz trophy always, shit only. I wish I had that strength to you not did. fuck you random did. chicks from back in the day. But you used to be fucking like random bitches back in the day? Well, I'll give you a story is that like 10 years ago, this chick who was like the hottest chick in my high school. Mm. I was probably I was probably out of high school for like ten years. And she hits me up and she's just like trying to kick it. And we kick it and like she gets way too drunk. Like I had to drive her ass home from the bar and shit because yeah. she just was like falling down, puking and shit. And I'm still kind of salty. Off. I hate a drunk oh, yeah, bitch yeah. on a dead So homies. disgusting. Yeah, I hate a drunk bitch on crib. Because she's puking the on the ground. I'm smelling her puke. I left it smells that bitch like right shit. There on yeah, yeah, homies. I did. I went. I got oh, yeah, a, I got good. a blanket and put it over. You did good on the ground. <laughs> but uh, yeah, like that that fucked me up because I really thought I was about to get some pussy that night, and then she got too drunk, and I I didn't get to. And this was like the baddest bitch from when I was like 18. Yeah. And I'm still kind of salty about that. Damn. 
So what you gotta you gotta you gotta set that up again, cause you gotta uh, you gotta catch her on a but the different thing type of time. You gotta tell her though, cause like bitch, don't be getting drunk, cause I don't like that shit. You gotta get a bitch on what you want her to be on. She gonna do it. You a nigga, bro. The thing you is, you gotta tell her, bitch, I'm Adam, bitch. You do what I want you to I do. I had been out of high school for like ten years when this happened, yeah. but it's still that was like twelve years ago. Yeah. So like now she forty, just like me. Oh yeah. So I mean the. The time goes by. I I, I still cougar, look all right. That's cougar compared to me. Yeah, but a lot of I like cougars, girl. A lot of bitches do not end up in the cougar category. They I end f- up in the old gross lady category. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But the 40? way you just explained her though, she just she cougar, girl. <laughs> I don't know. She's the baddest bitch. <laughs> I ain't seen her for like twelve years, so I don't. I feel like she's not anymore. Oh yeah. I feel like she looks like shit now. And also, I'm just never going back to my hometown. Oh yeah. It's just too dead. Why well, it's too dead? There's nothing going on. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. And I'm married. So I should probably throw that in there too. Um, <laughs> <laughs> should have said that first. <laughs> uh, okay, but so when when did you start getting your whole face tattooed? Uh, I got like a couple before I went to prison. I had like three. I had the roly crown, then I had the spotty face, the dead homie name, spotty face on hood, and then I got the the thirsty drips, cause I'm a thirsty crip on mm-hmm. hood. Them only three I had, and then shit, I just went to jail, cause and I just like on some. I feel like I was never really getting out, cause I took six. I was just on some young. I was like, cause that's. I'm not finna go. This shit is a long time, bro. Damn, that for like life to me. Yeah. Damn, I'm, so I'm like, cut this what it is. Fuck it. So I'm like, I just start getting tattoos and that motherfucking reception. Right. Mm-hmm. So you just get locked up and you're just not even thinking about the future because you're just. Yeah, bro. Jail is his own world. Jail is like a different world, bro. When you in there, like you tapping in and certain. Yeah, every time you tap into the streets and you hear some shit, all that shit gonna do is just stress you out. What do you just drop the new song? Or what do you doing this? Or this was going on? This that shit just gonna stress you out. Like fucking it to get to the streets. Right. So I really don't be trying to just focus on too much of the street. Cause on the day home, I'm just gonna be stressed the fuck out. So like, jail is his own world. You gotta really focus on what the fuck is going on in here. Yeah, people who told finna me. Who fall in his dorm? Who did bunk and what? Who a nigga finna have to get on? Like nigga, focus on what the fuck is going on in here, bro. People told me it's not. It, it doesn't it's almost worse when you have a phone because then you're watching everybody's Instagram stories and shit and you're just kind of getting annoyed and angry at the fact that you're not able to participate in all this cool shit right it's worse but then it's kind of better cuz on the dead home these has pros and cons of having a phone cuz that yeah you're gonna miss the streets and all that type of shit but then cuz on the dead homies cuz can't no bitch play with you cuz if you got no phone cuz bitches be lying cuz on the dead homies bitches be lying cuz I'm doing this I'm right here I'm right here mm-hmm. dead homies bitch you got that phone cuz you can't play on the dead homies yeah bitch I'm popping up on you what you doing bitch I'm hood right Great. but then at the same time you might be just laying there in your bed driving yourself fucking crazy looking at the phone all day right yeah yo, yeah I was a phone bender in jail too bro really? on the dead homies yo, yeah I was, I'm on the phone I'll come out for the yard for an unlock or two depending on who the fuck I hear show my face Nate but I'm out of here dead homies I'm back in the cell on the Crip. phone. On the phone. <laughs> Just staring Day at that shit all day. Day homies. Day homies. Bitch busted open. Crip. I, I was on like a reality show set the other day, and so I had to film shit, but in between, I had like an hour or two to just nothing and i'm just like looking at twitter and instagram for like two hours straight and i'm just thinking like this is what it would be like if i was locked up because i would just be looking at twitter and fucking instagram all Hell day yeah. but then she, you can't do that though because you'll fucking get caught because i didn't got mm-hmm. caught on some phones too because you gotta yeah, be low-key about it huh? Hell yeah you gotta be low-key they got caught on some phones bro that shit 91 days bro no get back what so. 91 days in solitary or nah just they gonna add 91 days to your motherfucking oh. to your sentence girl and you can't get that time back damn so you're gonna lose it you're gonna you're gonna lose a phone your points finna go up and you finna get ninety one days, cuz. So it's cool having a phone, but you better you better be bro, you better accept what what comes with it. You get caught with that motherfucker. Right. A lot of niggas ain't. And that's why some niggas be What made you decide you wanted to get the HK in your face? This feels like that's a big decision. Yeah, cuz on the dead homies. Because well I had a big I had a big brother from over there. Mm. On gang, I had a big brother from over there. His name was Dante. My family before we moved to the hood, cuz we stayed on 79th and Hoover, cuz over there. On the day of my whole family. And like I said, my big brother's from over there. And cuz one night he was walking to go get some weed, and then uh, cut ended up getting smoked, cuz, on the dead homie. So when my brother got smoked on Crip, my mama walked outside, like, seen on the dead homies, like, cut chest smoking on the dead, like, the whole little shit, like, seen her son dead, bro, on the dead homie. So, like, like fucked my mom up on Crip, fucked her up, and that's why she started, like, really been in the streets more and really, like, started on her. I was, like, two years old. So from right, from when that happened, we, st- we moved from right there, 79, to the hood on the dead homies. A nigga been growing up in the hood. Every since, cuz, on the hood, but like I said, cuz, when, when, uh, when that happened, that shit fucked my mama up, cuz, seeing her son die on hood, that shit fucked her up on the dead homies. Then the nigga that did it, cuz, on the dead homies, he was already got banged out 40, already got life for us, so like, on hood. What's a nigga from Snoopville? On hood. So, he cause, got sentenced for killing your brother? Yeah, cuz, already got sentenced 40, got banged out 40, he was already on hood, so niggas on the dead homies, but cuz, some hoochies, cuz, that did it on hood, on the dead homies. But, alright, cuz, so. 
I had a big auntie, cuz. My big auntie from the hood. She was the first one I got put on the hood on the dead homies. She was already from the hood. And she had like a sweater, I guess. This is the family, this is the story the family told me. She had a sweater with clovers and shit on it, cuz, on the dead homies. And my brother, cuz, was gonna go get some weed. So cuz throw the sweater on on a dead homies late night on some cold shit. Just a regular sweater, but they got clovers and shit on. But I do the same shower, H hats, I wear all type of enemy hats too. So cuz just on some throwing a sweater on type shit. Mm. On crib gonna go get some weed up over there. And some niggas from Hoover's Cub, but a, but a different part of the Hoover's Cub. My brother's from 7-4. I guess some niggas from 50s put up on Cubs on Hood and just seen the Clovers. Like, oh, you finna die on a dead homie, whatever they said. Hopped out on a dead homie, smoke Cub. Crip, my mama seen it. Dead homie spiral in the streets on Crip. So, yeah, I hate Hoochie's Cubs on some game banging shit on a dead homie's, but this shit hit different with me, Cub, with the Snoochie, bro. They caused, like, emotional damage to my, my family, Cub, type shit. I never even got a chance to meet my brother, bro, on Crip. Cause I was two years old. So, when I say on HK, hit different on Crip. Right. Dead homies. My HK, my HK is different. There's a lot of people who say that shit just because they're from yeah, there. Yeah, they just saying it. There's a lot of people who are saying that shit. They never even, ain't never even on a dead homies, bro. Squabbled on nigga from over there. Ain't never sh- popped on no nigga from over there. Ain't never, pop- ain't did nothing to no nigga from over there. They just saying it because it's cool, you know, on a dead homies just on crib. When you think about it, when you from your environment, bro, we was taught to say fuck over there before I even knew what the fuck one of them niggas even looked like. I just right. see my big brother do it. Oh, fuck Snoop, oh, fuck Snoop, and then little kids saying it. So on the damn, that's what a lot of people be doing, bro. Just, oh, fuck Snoop, and really doing all that. But if they see, re- it's, re- it's real niggas from over there too, though, bro. On the damn, homie, niggas been in county jail, niggas, niggas from Snoop, but O's whacked out, all that shit too. They ready too, on the damn, homie. So you saying all that shit, when you go in that county jail, be ready, cuz. But when you're locked up, you're probably like having conversations and getting to know people from Hoover. No, yeah, hell yeah, bro. On the damn, homie, bro. No matter where you from, cuz certain type of niggas. If you a certain type of nigga, y'all gonna always, y'all gonna always, you know, connect. Real type of niggas from everywhere connect. So it don't matter just because they're op on hood. It's, like I said, it's real niggas from over there too. But That's, could you be cool with them outside of the jail situation? I don't know, cuz. I don't know. On the dead homies. It's niggas from niggas that I was cool with, cuz in prison that was really like my boys type shit on the dead homies. And just based off that, when I see you on the street, I won't smoke you, cuz. But mm-hmm. I wanna just chill with you, though, on the dead homies, cuz you still from Snoop, bro. On hood. But you, you my boy, cuz. Nigga ain't gonna on the dead homies. Just for you, just for that. Uh, I'm not gonna smoke you, cuz. Mm. But I wouldn't chill with you, though. Like, I rem- I've had conversations about the whole peace treaty conversation with people, and the one thing that a few people have made perfectly clear is that if you want to talk about peace in LA, is 60s and Hoovers, that's the one split that would have to be fixed. And then you can kind of talk about everybody else starting to get along more or whatever, but that's like the primary gang war in LA. Do you- could you imagine peace? No, nah, I wouldn't say that's the, I don't know, cuz we go at it with the hoochies more than them, cuz on the dead homies, they be more like on the A-Trades, cuz. So okay, I be like right. the 40s and the hoovers really like more like on the dead homies go at it with that than the hoovers then on the dead. Six, so they, they be on them too, but I feel like they be more like on the A-Trades, cuz. But could, could you imagine peace in L.A.? Hell no. It's just way too deep. Yeah, it been too, you know, too much bloodshed, cuz. Too much shit to happen, bro, on the dead homies. Niggas done lost brothers, cousins, mamas done lost sons. It's like too many tears and hell no, too many years. It's gonna stay up like this, cuz. Right. And I saw when you were doing the uh, street news interview or whatever that mm-hmm. he's basically like you, you said the 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 Hoover gang diss or whatever, and then mm-hmm. he he kind of like was trying to give you an out to like get you to to yeah. not say that on his platform because yeah. it kind of makes him look a little bit crazy if he got a young dude just saying that shit without him saying anything, and you made it perfectly clear like no nah, I'm saying it like I'm not yeah, I'm man, not worried about that on the dead homies bro to cover to do his research on me bro Crip I'm not finna nice it up on no type of platform bro on her if you. Hoochies, so what? Uh, Hoochies, fuck them niggas. But you don't bring too much of it into the music, I feel yeah, like. Yeah, right? nah, nah. I got smarter cut with that cut there, homie. They got smarter with that. Just more subliminals now. Mm. More subliminals on gang. Is that because you just don't want to make anybody famous, or is it more like you're just trying to avoid certain level of beef getting to a certain because point? He, or? Uh, no, not that cut. Nigga want everybody to listen to the music cut. Don't matter cut. Where are you from? I just want everybody to listen to it. So I'm going to say more subliminals than if I say this, if I say Hoochies, or, even though they shit. Ops was still playing this, the song that I was saying with the, with the distance shit, but that's not like a, a go-to song like in a car type shit. That's just on some listen to it. Like, look look what this nigga's saying type shit. That's not no song you can really like listen to type shit mm-hmm. on gang. So I want to make song you can really like listen to and enjoy and really. So I'm, I, I say it's subliminal because I don't want to diss nobody. Because uh, right. I know I'm not going to be listening to no song that got fucked the hood in it. <laughs> right. On Crip. So I want the next person to have that type of. Definitely. You know, Do you listen to any of the Chicago uh, drill shit? Oh, uh, yeah. I got a couple songs by King Von I fuck with. Uh, a lot of the older shit too, like Ronald Number Nine, all that type of shit. 
on game. Are you influenced by that? Because I feel like a lot of L.A. dudes are kind of influenced by Chicago music-wise. Nah, hell no, nah, bro. That shit, that shit bunk, bro. I hate what niggas be doing. I even hate what niggas from L.A. even try to rap on, like, Detroit beats and be trying to do the Detroit shit, cuz, like, on the dead homies. And that's why niggas from L.A. are really not going to go that far, cuz, on the dead homies, because niggas be so busy worrying about what Atlanta doing, what Detroit doing, or what these other people doing. They can't never focus on getting L.A. booming, cuz, doing what, get that, do what you do. Because L.A. needs to have its own sound. Exactly, bro. And that's why I'm going to always be trophied up, bro. Because I don't worry about what the next nigga doing. I'm not rapping on a Detroit beat, bro. I'm not worrying about what Cud doing, Cud doing, bro. I'm going to do what I do, bro. I'm going to just trophy up from me. I don't care. My own sound. They stole my other flow. I switched it up. I'm a trophy up off me, cuz. But I feel like you, like, I've never listened to your shit and thought that it sounded like some old school LA shit or some G-Funk shit. Like, yeah. like do you, But do you feel like you have, like, a sound that's still kind of rooted in an L.A. sound? <laughs> I feel like I just got my own sound, cuz. I just feel like I just rap, like, different, cuz. I just, like, be on some, like, different shit. I don't know, cuz. I be on some, like, different shit. It's still L.A., though, but, like, I just be, like, on some different shit. Right. Yeah. People yeah. think, like, cuz Nip, like, Nip, like, the biggest thing, cuz. I really made it from L.A., cuz. So when you say, like, L.A., they think you just supposed to be, like, on some Nip type shit, smart as fuck, just... Hell no, nah, cuz Nip was different, cuz everybody can't be like that. So but to me, what Draco represented more than anything is Yeah, Draco. Draco too. represented like a new wave of LA sure. that, that didn't sound like any old school G Funk yeah. type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Draco. Yeah, on the dead homies. Right. Yeah. And now it's like there's like a weird gulf in, in LA where it's like there's so many rappers that sound like Draco, but then he's missing in action. And it's just kind of I don't know, it's just like it's hard for people to Yeah, cuz wrap their head around who like the next king of LA is gonna be ever since he yeah. had to they trying to put that title on me cause, but shit, I'm not gonna claim that title bro the deal, homies. Right. cause I know how I look at other people cause when they say they the face of LA or the face of this or the face of that if you the face of that then what the fuck we doing then nigga okay. I, I there's guess, too many trophies cause to just say you to just face You're but you're making me think about the fact that when I listen to your music it is filling some of that void that I feel like Draco left because there are some similarities musically and stuff and not not to put that much pressure on you or whatever but yeah. just like I feel like there's something about what you're bringing to the table that reminds me a lot of Draco like the just the fact that you clearly love rapping and love flows and love like saying weird intricate shit weird yeah. out of pocket stuff yeah. that people yeah. don't necessarily expect and I'm that was something I always loved about Draco too yeah on gang hell yeah bro that and that happened that came from when I switched it up from going to notes to just punching in Mm. When I just start punching in, cuz, like I said, I'm just like a natural popper anyway. So when I'm punching in, it's just shit that just come to my head, just off the dribble. So once I start just punching in on game, my shit start being different. My cadence, shit that I say, how I say it, shit start being different. Mm -hmm. So all this recent shit, all this shit like lately, just been me punching in, bam, straight off the head. I should have been doing that. I probably would have been. But I'm just, I'm, when you when you write on notes, you might second guess yourself, take back, delete that, put this. It just be like too much, cuz. So we just like punching in, it just like, this this, this what it is, this you. Right. So every time I start punching in, cause I just start trophying up, cause that's me. Definitely. Yeah, How'd yeah. you end up connecting with uh, Ralphie? Uh, Ralphie been fucking with me since I had my like first song on SoundCloud. A lot of people were saying it was similarities to. Cause when you come out, cause you first start doing this rapper shit, everybody gonna always say you sound like somebody. Everybody just be looking for something to say. So when I first on the Dead Homies made my first song, Deuce Deuce, everybody was saying I sound like Ralphie, cause and they hyped it up so much that it got to attention of Ralphie. Like, oh, on Dead Homies were cut, posted it on his story and tapped in on Gang and just telling me like, on oh, Dead Homies he fuck with the song so much. And all that type of shit, cuz. And then shit, I ended up running to cuz in the county, too. Ran to cuz in the county. And then shit, yeah, he been fucking me, though, since I was a young nigga. 16 or something, my first song. I was glad when I saw you guys having music together and shit like that. Because yeah. then nobody can say that you're, like, you know, trying to be like Drago or some shit. Yeah. Because if you have respect from his brother, bro, I'm not trying to be like, that. I'm not trying to be like no nigga, bro. On the day homies, I do what I do. That's why I wear eight hats and I do what the fuck I do, bro. On the day homies, I do what I do. I right. always do what I do. I don't care about what the next nigga do. How'd you end up doing a song with Rumble, though? Yeah, Rumble. Uh, when I was fucking in prison, cuz I had a message from fucking uh from Rambo, but it was already cuz it was already gone. He had mentioned me in his story, mm -hmm. but I guess so much time had passed by, cuz that it just disappeared. I hate that. And you gotta message them and say yeah. like, "Sorry, I missed it." What would you yeah, post? Exactly and they're like, "I don't know." <laughs> so it was like mentioned me in the story, cuz but I didn't know even I didn't know who the fuck he was. Bro, I just been in jail, cuz mm -hmm. I don't know who the fuck this nigga was. So like, but I seen he had a blue check. He had all these followers. I'm seeing this little shit. So I tap in one of these little bitches. I'm fucking with like, man. Who's this nigga Rimbo? She like, oh, he hard. Like, with you? Like, he like a rapper, dude. I'm like, oh yeah. He had mentioned me in the story, but I ain't see that shit. He like, oh yeah, she hard. You should, you should fuck with him with you on gang. So I, I just tapped in with him. I had like, I had liked the message. I'm like, gangland. He's like, gangland. When you come home, I'm gonna tell him like, we gonna do some shit. We gonna do it up with you mm. on the dead homies. And then shit, when I came home, cause just kept his word, dead homies. Right. Hit it up. As soon as I came home, he like send me something. Went to the stool, I sent cut something. And this before the this before I had a, a video, this before I even had a song on Apple or anything. I still had like 
6,000, 7,000 followers, bro. I'm in prison on the day, homie. Just all songs off SoundCloud on mm-hmm. Gang because just like, he was just like fucking with it. He was fucking with it. He's not like these other niggas that's trying to tap in now that a nigga got motion, now that a nigga trophy and up, all these dick riding ass bitch ass niggas trying to damn with being a nigga DM that same niggas that a nigga been trying to get songs from was curving a nigga. Now they back on the nigga dick. He ain't like one of them niggas. Cause Cub was, Cub been tapped in with me since I had like 7,000 followers, no videos, no nothing. That's why I really fuck with Cub. Damn, he's a Rumble real one. Yeah, I love Rumble's Great. music. And a nigga asked Cub, nigga, like, what's your shit, bro? Nigga finna set up the splits, all the shit. Like, he like that's you, gang. I don't want nothing. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, homies, let me keep all the little shit, all the shit cut real, bro. Oh, that's dope. I fuck with Rumble for sure. Definitely. You know, is it, so you can fuck with Rumble and fuck with Ralphie and it don't matter? It's not that serious? I mean, shit, that ain't got nothing to do with me, bro. I'm, right. I'm from Rolling 40s and plus I was in jail when that shit happened. And plus, bro, on Crip. That's, yeah, that's them niggas, bro. And like, none of them niggas never said nothing about it, bro. On the dead homies, I fuck with Rambo, I fuck with Ralphie on Crip and I steal. Like, ain't no blood, ain't no, like, you niggas ain't like busting on each other, ain't like no shit like that type. It ain't no, right. on Crip is like just some, it's like not even them two niggas personally, it's just like some, oh, I don't really even know too much detail, so let me not even speak. I don't know, cut, but on the dead homies, from what I know, cut, ain't even like them two niggas like personally type shit. I don't feel like they. I definitely would love to see you make more music with, with Rambo as your style develops though because yeah. to me he's like definitely one of my favorite rappers coming out of LA and I feel like the more shit that you guys end up doing together like I don't know somehow I feel like that could be like a really great no, dynamic yeah, for duo. sure for sure Hell like yeah. I could imagine y'all going on tour like, together yeah, and shit yeah. you know yeah cause he be talking crazy I be talking crazy too the shit he be saying I be like on the damn homies and then, and then I feel like we'll challenge each other in the studio too cause I hear him talking crazy alright now I'm finna pull out this and then he see me talking like this now he pulling out this so now we just like keep like yeah, that will be dope though, for sure. Yeah, yeah. He's got a big vision too. I could tell that he yeah. really he wants to do like great things with yeah. his career. He don't want to just be yeah. a regular ass rapper. Yeah, he doing. Yeah, he like yeah, he different too, cause he different. He don't be posting like that. He nigga made a video, wasn't even in it. Right. You ever what been? The fuck, I, no, you ever been to San Pedro? Who the fuck you think he is, bro? That nigga made a video, wasn't in it. Yeah, I've been to San Pedro. Really? Okay. Yeah, I've been to San Pedro. I used to go out there and ride bikes all the time, so it's kind of crazy to me that he's from there, cause I never even knew that that was a place that had. Yeah. Street shit going on like that. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, nah, yeah, they go up on okay. game. Definitely. So, okay, uh, I saw this video that alleged that it was you uh, involved in this crazy ass shootout. W- what was that situation? Maybe it might not have been you. I don't, I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, I don't think it was me. Okay. But that wasn't related to any of the cases that you caught? <laughs> well played. Um, okay. Uh, so. <laughs> it's kind of hard to pick another question after that. <laughs> um, okay, More in a more general sense, is it weird for you to have people kind of taking videos and images of you from the internet and just like telling stories about you on the internet and stuff. I'm sure we haven't even seen the true extent that we might of like documentaries and, and people just making videos about you and shit. Is, is that a weird new thing for you to be dealing with? Yeah, bro, that shit crazy, bro, on the day, homies, and people just be sending me shit like, oh, look at this shit, oh, look at this shit. Look at this. That should be like crazy, and I'd be looking at it. I'm like, that shit funny, cuz. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that shit crazy. But I already knew like on the day, homies, that that shit was like gonna come with this shit. Like the bigger... Bigger of a trophy a nigga get, like the more it's gonna like be, cuz. Mm-hmm. So like hell yeah. Do you think you're ready for that level of attention? Uh yeah. Hell yeah, I'm ready for it. I'm ready for it. Have you already had to like kind of change a lot of but your I'm habits like, and how I'm you like, move around? I'm not the type of nigga cut. I just I already like move. I don't. I already move like I'm in a mob. Cause I don't just be doing anything, bro. I don't be anywhere. I don't like just doing anything, cuz. So this type of shit is gonna like fit my life perfect. Cause I'm like a out the way, like, type, like, on the dead homies, NBA young boy type nigga, cut out the way, mm. up, up, out the way, all the money, crib, out the way. Well, young boy's only up in the crib just because the Yeah, fact. yo, how's the rest of the thing? <laughs> yeah. But damn, he that's used to cool- be outside acting crazy as fuck. Even in L.A., when he first moved out to L.A., I was seeing crazy videos of him politicking with different people and being in the hood and shit, and yeah. I'm like, it's probably a lot better. But that's like a good lifestyle to live, cut out the way, all the money, big house, and just, like, just out the way, cut, dead homies. That's right. the type of lifestyle I'd be. I just don't you know, pop out here and there but to do certain little shit before. Just like having fun and doing all that shit. Going to the club. I'm not no club type nigga. Here, get the money. I'm being out of here. That's the type of, I'm be on crap. I'm going to be, I don't like big crowds. None of that type of shit, cuz. Right. I mean, there's so many things that if you just look at like superstar rappers that you can point out and like learn lessons from them. Like look how Pop Smoke got killed out here just from 
accidentally putting his address online slash like you know exactly. just being in an Airbnb without security and shit. If he had just had like a couple of hotel rooms that night instead of having an Airbnb, he would still be here. And that's just like another lesson that you can kind of look at a, a rapper and learn that shit from him. I even like think about 21 on a, a recent record. He said like, he goes, last one was easy. He pulls up on random hoes. And I'm like, he's saying he said, like. He said last one was easy what? The last one was easy. He pull up on random hoes. Oh, the basically dead, saying oh, the dead <laughs> hobie. <laughs> you know, if, if you're moving, moving yeah. sloppy out here, yeah. it's going to be easy for somebody who yeah. wants you gone to get yeah. out of here. That's crazy yeah. because but we, I said some shit too like that, like kind of on a song I did with Phoenix Flexing because I was like, he think with his dick fucking send a bitch at him on oh, crib. Nigga think with his <laughs> dick, cuz. They go send a bitch at you, cuz. Yeah. On the hood, that's how that shit go, cuz. But that used to be something that everybody just kind of took for granted is that one of the benefits of becoming a famous rapper is that you got to go fuck all these random hoes and... Yeah, man, on gang, cuz. You better just pick the hoes wisely, cuz, because these bitches, cuz, it's cold. And they be on the dead homies. Definitely. Train, cold. But do you think that you could be living the life in a mansion locked away in Calabasas and not feel the need to still be up and shit because... On one hand, it's like you're you're safe, you're comfortable, you're able to do your thing. But on the other hand, it's like your music is maybe going to get kind of boring if you're not like being around people and necessarily knowing what to talk about, right? Yeah, yeah, that is kind of true. Cause on the dead homies, but shit, if it's working for you, then shit, keep it like that. I'd rather have it like that anyway. On gang, just out the way. Cause all the money, all the money out the way. Mm -hmm. Dead homies. Yeah, no, definitely. But yeah, they, that that do make sense though. Cause you is gonna get like out of touch with the like certain little shit but you got that's why you I don't know you should probably hire somebody to go do that go see what's going on <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah no for real but you see that all the time with star yeah. rappers shit like, all you gotta do is watch Instagram you'll see what's going on you yeah, have yeah. everything to talk about a Kanye or a Drake or whatever they always will have the younger homies around them and shit that are kind of there to like tell them what's going on and shit like Drake mm -hmm. needs a Yachty around to mm -hmm. sort of let them know what's going on and fashion type shit, type and how shit. young people are talking to each other yeah. and shit yeah yeah, you know? yeah 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 type shit on the dead homies at a certain point you need a little bit of that um, one of the bars that really stood out to me in some of your songs is you have one where you said the ops tried to come and score three, but we blocked it. <laughs> yeah. What What does that translate to? Basically, it's like cuz on the dead homies. Okay, it could be like three of the homies cuz standing on the block cuz on the dead homies and the ops roll by cuz. Okay, say three homies cuz standing on the block and it's like another homie or two in a car somewhere, pulled off in the cut somewhere where the ops don't see. But these three niggas is visible, cuz, to ops eyesight, cuz. So they roll by like, ooh, look at them three niggas. I don't know if they get busy or if they try to do their thing. But the niggas that they didn't see, cuz, in the car, cuz, blicked up. Uh, get up on them, get up off the homie. Uh, uh, they blocked it. That's how you block it. That's how you block that three, cuz. And three niggas, cuz, was finna get scored on by the ops, cuz. But the homies blocked it. Right. For uh, I think the weird thing about that is you're making it sound like being posted up outside is really, really important to the extent where you need to have a secret assassination team over here to stop <laughs> anything from happening when you could just be in the crib. Yeah, cause that's how that shit go, though, cuz. <laughs> right. Yeah. Definitely. Um, okay, so there's been a lot of talk about who's managing you, who's working with you, etc. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on that when you have all these grown men sort of fighting to be the one oh, standing bro, next to you? This clout error is crazy, bro, on the dead homies, bro. This clout on the dead homies. It's like a drug, bro. People are gonna do whatever for it, cause I'm crip. So when people just cloud chase and do whatever and say whatever, bro, you ain't. Gonna, I just let them, cause they homies be all you can be, bro. That's on you. But now nah, my manager's out there, cause. Oh, Ooh. okay. Yeah, Pooh and Swish. Oh, gang. so you been work, so Swish is formally part of your management team. Yeah, yeah. Okay. On gang. Good to know. I didn't realize that. Yeah. But so yeah, because there's a few different people that we've seen you around and that people are saying are managing you. So yeah, no. uh, six hundred Christopher Lovejoy. Yeah. He's been around you and stuff like that. Yeah, he, six hundred. That's my boy though. I'm getting six hundred. He 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 straight. Cut straight on the day, homies. Cut okay. straight. Cut straight. But it's not like a super formal business relationship. No, nah, and that's that all that that's all it is, cause just like like just like business, cause on the day homies of cuz got like something for me, like oh artists wanna do this or this coming up or look, we finna go to the studio right here. That's all it is though. On the day homie, just shit like that. Just give me certain little resources and shit like that. Okay, what about wow? That ain't like my everyday like boy boy type shit, but on the day homies when there's certain shit coming up, cuz like on uh, so nigga appreciate cut for that. What's the extent of your relationship with Wack? Uh Wack straight on the day homies. Nigga met cuz a couple times on hood and he just like gave me some advice and told me how much he fuck with me, cuz on hood and that song that I did with uh uh but Rambo on there, homies, cuz said he wanted to uh, potentially, possibly, on her, uh, get Blueface on that. Oh, shit. On game. He on the there, homies. So, yeah. He was just telling me, keep going and just how much he fuck with me and shit. That's dope. You a Blueface yeah. fan? 
Yeah, blue face straight, cuz straight, cuz he be talking crazy sometimes. <laughs> yeah. You, could you ever see yourself uh, making your relationship part of your public narrative like the way he has? Well, like with like, all that fighting shit? Yeah, well, just all the shit with the girls, you know, and the baby mamas. I really and, don't like that type of shit, bro. I really like to be like a player, like on a dead homies, like Gucci man, how Gucci man and cub bitches, bro, like Jay Z and beyond, like big dog player, like type status, bro, on the dead homies. What we going through, like we could have just had a fucking. On a day, the biggest fight ever, bro. When we walk out this door on the day, homies, bro. This we on this type of time. I don't want nobody to know we on nothing, bro. On crypt, so a bitch that can't control her emotions and just do weak ass shit and just public shit and doing all that shit weak. I don't like that type of shit, cause I want to be like my relationship, my relationship player, cause. But if you want to be in a Jay Z and Beyonce style relationship, we're gonna have to figure out who your equal is, cause that's kind of why Jay Z and Beyonce yeah. seem so you gotta crazy. Just find your equal. That's what it is, cause yeah. and different people bring out different sides of you, cause you would meet a bitch, bro, on the dead homies, and she would bring out the demon in you. You would never even know you had. Then you would meet a bitch, cause and you just like on the dead homies, you just treat her like a fucking fly, like a queen. That's the problem. Though, you never even call her a bitch. You don't even know what level you're gonna get to, and exactly. like six months from now, where you're at in your career is probably gonna be way different than yeah. where you're at right now, yeah. and so. You know, it might be a little too early to really yeah. do that. Or you can get get a girlfriend for a period of time, yeah. and then once you get big enough, you I, and I'm a really like a good nigga, bro. On the day homies, I got the biggest heart on Crip Gang. I don't give a fuck, nigga. You my boy on the day homies. Y'all here on the block, Crip Gang, nigga. You cold here? Take a sweater on the day homies, nigga. Whatever. I'm like a good nigga. I really got a good heart. Cause I really know how to treat a bitch. Cause nigga just waiting for that right bitch to bring out that right side of me. Cause but the bitches lately been bringing out that demon. Cause cause these bitches be on the day homies embarrassing. Don't know how to shut up. <laughs> just all type of shit. Cause bitch always got something to say back. Just yeah, bitches don't know how to play their role. Cause when you got a certain type of nigga, cause you gotta just sit back and just play your role. When a nigga, well, you gotta just play your role. But what, what a lot of bitches don't know how to play their role. What are you doing on like an average Friday night? Like if you're not in the studio, if you're just hanging at your crib with a girl, what are you doing? Just watching Netflix, smoking weed? Oh uh, yeah, just smoking. I'm not too much. I'm not too much big on TV, cause like that. I be trying. I don't know. It is weird in jail. I, I can run through a whole series, cuz, in the day. There's it. no options. Yeah, there's yeah. no options, cuz, when so nigga just right there just doing that. But shit, when I'm on the street, I try, I put a movie on, and I never end up, I never end up on the day, homies. Man. But shit, nigga just be right there just chilling, cuz, chilling, smoking, just vibing out. I feel the same way though that like I want like I'll look at Netflix I'll be like there's a thousand fucking things for me yeah. to watch here how do I not want to watch any of them yeah but I can look at my phone I can look at TikTok for two hours yeah on a day no homies. problem all day I'm watching people get arrested yeah. I'm watching like yeah, fights yeah. breaking out I'm watching podcast clips yeah girls doing that's little what I do though I do that dancing. though I scroll like on TikTok and shit on gang and see like little videos on TikTok are you masterminding how you're gonna use TikTok to blow up. Yeah, man, I need to, yeah, let me try to put something together, cuz, with that. I just know I'm not finna be doing no weak ass, weird ass dances, cuz. I just finna water down my image, bro. That's, right. Hey, I'm not finna be doing no weak ass dances, bro. On Crip. You gotta with the keep hips it. and all Yeah, the you gotta keep it you, you know? Yeah. Like, maybe you could move a little bit, do a little bit of a wiggle or some shit. But yeah, a little can. bit, but I'm not, I don't even too much even know how to do all that, cuz. I don't even know, how to, I just know how to rap, cuz. I'm, you know, I'm not no dancer. Yeah. I had a couple moves here and there in my videos. That's because niggas be like, cuz, bust a move or something, cuz you stiff. Nah, I do a little something, something, cuz. But other than that, bro, I don't like doing that shit, cuz. I uh, rap. <laughs> It's just weird because you, it's like TikTok has made dancing so much more normalized, but then it's hard to get away from the fact that it's still some hoe ass shit most of the time, right? You just yeah. look goofy as fuck doing it. Yeah, cuz I'm cripping. Mean, I was, man, yeah, hell yeah, niggas be looking goofy, cuz. <laughs> niggas be looking goofy, cuz. That shit not straight. On the dead homies. Definitely. Niggas be doing going out bad, cuz, for, for, the, for, the, for, the, for the likes. Yeah. Like, damn, cuz you was a real crip, you did that? Shh. What do you think is the, the state of, of L.A.'s rap scene, though? Do you feel like it's healthy or you feel like it's kind of in a weak state right now and you're looking to help it out? No, I feel like it's it's it's, 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 it's good, cuz. It's going up, cuz. It's going up. I feel like it's rising. Damn, homies, you got a lot of good, good artists, cuz, in L.A., cuz. That's, like, name going up more and more, cuz, to where we, like, tiptoeing really to, like, that industry side, cuz, where they, like, you know, gang, okay, it's going up. Definitely. You think people are scared to fuck with LA artists though, because they're afraid that everybody's just gonna get them extorted or some shit out here? No, I that's the reputation that the city got. What people are like gonna get them extorted? Yeah, a lot of like I think rappers are scared to link up with LA rappers when they're in the beginning of their career because they're afraid that if they tap in with the wrong people, that all of a sudden they're gonna be paying the toll every time they come to LA and shit. I've seen it happen. Yeah, 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 but I don't feel like that's why the industry spooked. Cause the industry just spooked because because. Probably cause probably cause the game banging shit on the dead homies. If we sign him, he probably gonna. I don't know. I don't know what the fuck, bro. On the dead homie, they just spooked that late dog. Girl. They spooked us. Mm. Crip. But I'm finna kick that door down though, cause I'm finna trophy up at a crazy level. I got. Have you been doing the meetings with the labels and everything like that? 
Yeah, I got some shit going, cuz. Okay, because last time I asked you that question, yeah, you last time you asked me that, bro, on a dead homie, bro, on Crip Gang Gang. Cause you know what? Uh, I, I said, yeah, they they wasn't, bro, cause everybody thought I, I took that picture of whack on the demo. So everybody thought I was signing whack, right? So they really was like on some like nah, cuz party like on her, and then you know whack posted me, so they was like on some on gang. But I posted that that uh fucking I'm not signing with you mm -hmm. on gang, bro. Snap of a finger, bro, on dead homies, a nigga for now. Yeah, I can't say too too much, but I'm a. I had a, a dude that I know who's like a huge industry dude, and I yeah. was just like, yo, sign this kid. And he he already like had done his research and stuff, and he yeah. was already like, he hadn't reached out, but he had told me like, yeah, we already have done some some looking into him and everything. Yeah. And I was like, you should just do it. And he did say, he was like, yeah, but I heard he's like signed to a few different people. Yeah, I'm people, like, that's what everybody was thinking. And I was like, I heard, he told me he's not signed to anybody, so I'm yeah. pretty sure you could get in there if you want to. Yeah. yeah. Hell no, nah, but I'm finna, on that dead homie, bro, nigga finna. I'm finna shock. I'm finna shock y'all though. Okay. I feel like labels a lot of times don't do shit when the artist doesn't really like have obvious potential. But then as soon as the label has an artist who has potential, a lot of times the th the stuff that they can do with the artist is pretty crazy. I feel like yeah. you just need money behind you. You just need promotion. Oh, yeah, the, the, homies. The good. more they put you out there in front of people, the more singles that are getting pushed and stuff. Like I think Rimble has crazy natural talent, mm -hmm. but also I saw the way. Five million fucking people were making TikToks using his music, and that caused five million other people to make yeah. TikToks using his music. Like he had the label in his corner for that project, and it was making his shit blow the fuck up. And I feel like if you had that same push, it could definitely be a crazy ass year. Bro, I'm finna take off, bro. Definitely. Crip, I'm finna be out of here. X4 the city. I've, I've, as much as you say that LA is in a healthy state. I do feel like from the street rap perspective, because I'm comparing L.A. to like New York and Chicago. Oh, if you do the comparison Atlanta. thing, if you do the comparison thing, man, hell no. Then we bunk skunk, bro. The dead <laughs> homies. If you do the comparison thing, we bunk skunk. I'm just looking at it like just like us type shit, like far as like on the dead homies. A lot of like niggas like cool buzz and like doing their shit type shit. But right. far as like compared to certain little cities, cause L.A. ain't like really like on the dead homies, bro. When I look at. Like, but it's going to get, it's going to, bro, I'm telling you, I'm going to trophy up because otherwise we got me though. I'm going to put on a cape and say today. Right, because when I look at like New York drill videos and shit, it's like I'll see a random motherfucker doing a million views, a couple million views all the time. And then when I think about L.A., I'm like, Ugh. Yeah. from a like street gangster rap perspective, there's not that many artists that seem like they're hitting as heavy yeah. as that. And it's funny to even be doing an interview with you right now because I feel like the conversation in terms of like how many views you're getting and shit is gonna is gonna seem crazy in like a year. How much different it's gonna look? I'm telling you, bro. Mm. I'm telling you, fool. Because you're right in the middle of it. You're feeling it like the number of DMs you get per week is just seeming like it's going up yeah, it's going super up. quickly and shit yeah. right now, huh? Yeah, yeah. everything is just going up. Numbers going up. View, like everything just going up. Mm. See, like crazy. I'm getting treated different. Like I just said, bro, crash, let me go. Yeah. So it's crazy. You got to just keep your head down and just keep working and grinding and don't put yourself in crazy, unnecessary situations. As soon as you told me that you don't do perks and lean, I'm like, yeah, all right, no. that's a really good sign yeah, because that makes me confident that you're not going to be out here in the streets moving yeah, like an bro. idiot. Yeah, I'm not no idiot, nigga, bro. I ain't no crash dummy. I ain't no stupid nigga, bro. I don't do what niggas do, bro. I don't do what the trends is just because future rapping about popping perks and everybody want to do that. That's on y'all, bro. I do what I do, cuz. i dead homies, bro. I've always been like that. I always did what the fuck I always wanted to do. i always been like hard headed. I'm crib. I did what I wanted to do. No hood. But I, on the other end, though, I could be a good listener too, cut. But I, but I got, but I was hard headed, cut. Did what I wanted to do, but it worked. Mm. No hood, it worked. Hundred percent. So I would have did what everybody else wanted me to do. It probably would have turned out different. Everybody telling me switch it up, stop rapping like that, stop game banging rapping, stop doing this, stop doing that. I'm doing, I'm doing. Mm. Now look, imagine if I would have listened to him. You know what, y'all right, man. Let me stop rapping like this. I ain't gonna never make it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> yeah, <all right. laughs> nah. I feel uh, like you just need to like. They said that was good. They said I need to switch it up. The That's music it. is just like the music is already fire, but I feel like if you just focus on the music and just keep getting better and just keep keep just doing your thing and tweaking shit and working on your flows yeah. and different keep flows. My flow and shit, yep. That's what's gonna be because I feel yeah. like you're kind of like a rapper's rapper in the sense that you're just fucking with the flow a lot and like yeah. just messing with the flow and trying different things. And that's the shit that's going to make people like who love rapping, like really respect you in the long yeah. run too. Yeah. On game. Know? Yep. On the homies, nigga be in there just trying like little different little shit. But like I said, that just like that, that punching cause I just be hearing the beat cause and I just be like on the day homies, I put a wood in there and I just, I just go. They be like, what the fuck? I punch in like one word sometime at a time, one word, two words. People in whenever they watch me record, they don't know where the fuck I'm going with it, cuz. Mm. Then when it's done, finished, they be like, what the fuck? Like, I, when I first took the homie oh, Gotti okay. with me, cuz, record, he was like, cuz, I didn't know what the fuck he was finna do, cuz. He's like, when I 
He like, bro, you sick, bro. He like, I got a different level. I look at this shit different. Cause he like, you sick, bro. That's right, funny. I've, I've been in the studio with people like that where I'm listening to them record and I'm thinking like, yeah. yo, this shit sounds terrible. Yeah, like, that's how much you know. And then you hear the final thing and you're like, ah, okay, now yeah. I get it. All right. You on a day home, I'd be in there like, bro, I can do some. You hear that? All right. Shit you can't, bro. Leave. I'm getting just for that leave part, just for that to be like, sound like that. Just don't pop it. Mm, mm, mm. So you'll do th- one line, but in three parts just to make it sound To make different? it sound a certain way, bro. Oh, really? homies. I, want my, I want that to be like my certain like type of like sound type shit. Wow. Oh, man. And that shit like been working for me because I know I, like, I'm mastering it more and more, bro. I just made some shit the other night crazy. Who are you I'm, getting like, oh, yeah, beats from? Is it just like FB. random shit? Or? Lately it's just been like FB because I've been locking in with FB. Cause I know my sound. We be in the studio together. Like FB, like I've been fucking with FB hey, uh, heavy. Okay. Yo, oh, yeah. Shout out FB. That's my boy. Interesting. Okay. FB be doing all type of, you know, he did uh, Blueface, Baby Mama Beats. He be doing, oh, he did that one too? Yeah, that workout. I, I really fucked with that work song. Out. Uh, oh, okay. Man, never work out. Yeah, FB did that. Oh, all right. I got to okay. tap in with him then. All all right. well. Makes sense. Good did that. All right. X4, next up out of LA. For sure. You're going to do us proud. I can feel it. Yeah, for sure. No doubt. The trophy. 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 No game. jumper. Trophy gang. For sure. Like, comment, and subscribe. Coolest podcast in the world. Check us out on YouTube, TikTok, Patreon, Instagram. Turn my man up on all streaming services. If you're just here for the, the street talk, I recommend yeah. you tap in with the music as well. Yeah, for sure. I'm talking crazy. Smack the like. Appreciate y'all. We out. Gangland.